Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris, picking up on the theme from yesterday, the relationship between the government, the media, and corporate America, what we labeled as an unholy trinity. It is truly the devil's triangle because the combination of those three incorporates virtually every aspect of the normal person's life. If hell exercises what amounts to operational control over those three entities, so much so that they actually all operate with the same demonic mind, then that trifecta becomes impossible to fight against, certainly in the natural order. What laws are passed, what you are being told, where you are allowed to work, where corporate profits are being poured into, and so forth, all of this is the same beast with three different heads. People's political, informational, and economic lives are almost totally controlled by what amounts to a few individuals who all share the same demonic agenda, and as we said, actually the same demonic mind. These may be three different theaters of operation, but they are all controlled by the same demon. So, enter the Catholic bishops and ask yourselves, are they providing a counter, a challenge, to the devil's triangle? The answer is pretty obvious. But for most Catholics, even though they may realize down deep something is way off with the church, they simply cannot or will not own up to the reality because in truth, it's just too disturbing to accept. It's why the bishops keep getting a pass from so many willfully ignorant Catholics. Even, so, even Catholic so-called media types like Teresa Tamio or the relevant radio gang or EWTN and so forth, they will not explore these topics, partly because it will upset their comfortable parasitic existence that they make off being part of the church establishment and partly because they cannot look at it and accept in their mind the degree of evil and corruption in the church. And on that score, yep, yeah, agreed, it is extremely difficult on most days to sit down in this business, the so-called Catholic media, and grapple with the notion that the leadership is complicit directly or indirectly, depending on the particular bishop, with the devil's triangle. That establishment media lot would much rather talk about the evil out there than the root cause of it, which is the evil in here, the church. So they stick their heads in the sand and their hands in the collection basket, and they carry on as normal, running pilgrimages, selling books, giving useless speeches to dull-minded conference attendees, and so forth. Meanwhile, the rot expands and the evil grows, but their little garden party lifestyles, as well as their own personal 401ks, remain untouched, for the moment, anyway.